how about Dan Croto in the 88? He's out of Kennebunkport. No, he's out of Saco. 91 is Dick Dion out of Gorham. 92 is Kyle Cooper from Westbrook. 93 is Robert Bord Bordwell Jr. out of Alfred. 94 is James Barnes. Barnes out of Scarborough. 95 is Norman Ritchie, uh, 28, uh, 28 years old out of Kennebunks. 99 is Kevin Perkins out of Arundel. 103 is Craig Scout, Strout, excuse me, out of Portland. 109 is Tom Cramlidge out of Svego Lake. 110 is Alf Missouri from Hollis Center. And 121, Jeff Greenley from Scarborough. 122 is Steve Waterhouse from Waterboro. 123 is Brian Missouri from Hollis Center. 124 is John Bob Jr. from Kenny Buck Fort. Sorry, you don't him up here tonight. 104 is John Harmon from Bar Mill. 114, James, James Boyd from Cornish. Uh, 128, David Martin from West Buxton. 129 is James Smith from Collis. 133 is Craig Woodworth from Goodall from North Berwick. 138 is Reginald Day from West Baldwin. 142 is Ed Fralich from South Portland. 144, Bob Villette. And we'll catch up with more names as we are on the green for the Stego Auto Parts 300 Lap Enduro Special. I think the jam cars run faster than the boys. Three, four, five of us. There's somebody riding on the top of that car over there. Who is that big black guy over there? Smokey the Bear. Good A couple of unicorns out there tonight. That 128 makes it moves up around through there. Guys, laying down a little smoke screen for uh, mosquito control. However, we really don't need it tonight, I don't think. There goes the lawnmower in that 122 car. He's ready if he gets in the infield. He'll take care of the grass for Ralph. That's Steve Waterhouse in that 122 with the lawnmower. Hey, look at that sign on top of that guy. Okay, folks, have you picked out your fast car yet? Who's doing the job? 69, that's a cute little gidget he's got on top of him. A little sideways turn over. Oh, nice place to sit over there, buddy. He's got it going. That's the 110 car. Elton Reserve. Four, five abreast. Oh, we got the 25 car. Distress signal right in the middle. He's got it going. Now he's got to get out of there. Looks, ay, 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 ay. Oh, I hate it when that happens, he says. Now he's to the inside. He's got a hammer down. He says, I think I'm going to pull a U in the inside. Look at this. Three, four, five. Oh, shut the door. No, thank you, ma'am. I think this jam truck's going faster than they are. 158 is going to be losing the wheel bearing for long, I would have to guess. Wheel in the race. Now, that kind of trouble. Who's got the moves on who here? We're going to try and see if we pick out... Oh, that 158 got a lot of smoke underneath that wheel. 20 cars not got too much power underneath that big link in the Mercury. Look at him. Oh, breast. Windshield wiper on. Don't have that windshield wiper on. We don't need that tonight, big guy. Number 19. He's got his directional light turning left. I wonder if he's got the right hand one working when we turn this baby around. I think the 69 guy went for Oh, we got somebody trying to go. Oh, he got hit up there in the two turns. He's still running now. He'd like to get out of there, but he's like, how do I do this? Now, I can do that. I can do that. How am I going to do that? Look, up over the tire. Look at him stacking him right up over there in the three. Now he's got the idea. You back it up, back out of the way. Just got to put it on for race once in a while. Oh, the 18 getting a little loop to loop action over here. 118, whatever that is. He says, if we haven't fun yet, red flag. Stop the procession as we got a big jam up over in the back stretch there. Somebody's setting her up on top of someone else. Whoop, 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 easy, easy. Whoa, wait, oh, don't do that, no! Look at that seven car. He had a little brain fire there. Oh, gosh. He's 
in this half, a three up for Hamburg. We're going to have it come back with him. Oh, number seven, Jean LeBlanc, Jr. You're never going to be a senior if you drive like that, big guy. Heavens to Murdoch. Now turn it around before we throw the green plate. Okay, the bucket, the fartlet is going over us. Look at this, got him in tow already. Clean on the track. Uh oh, say goodnight, Dad. See you in the funny papers, buddy. Get your brakes fixed. We'll see you next time, all right? You're gonna love it. Hey, green flag is flying. Here we go for some more motorized McKinnon. Did 183. He didn't want to stop. Now he doesn't want to start. And when that happens, don't put your hands out the window, buddy. 43,000 cars. Oh, help! You're gonna love it. Oh, where's our jam truck? Come on, boy. Hey, jam truck, turn left right here. Whoa! Hey, turn left. Yeah! No, no, let the jam. No, no. Damn, they get it moving now, ain't they? Huh? He hooked right up now. He's gonna get tow all the way around. Look at this. All right. Uh oh. He's not gonna. Oh! Hey! I ain't had so much fun since I can't remember when. Since I went to a hot wrestle. Look at this. They're gonna be for victory. He's gonna smoke the tires right off that 154, isn't he? He's in the wee hair in front yet, folks. That's James Keyes over there giving that little boy the 183 a ride. James Keyes and Dennis Hewitt. Oh, are they having fun. Red flag. Red flag time again. We're gonna stop it. Try to get it cleared away one more time. He's not giving up for that 154. He's gonna give him a ride all over. Whoa, 88. That's a red flag we're looking at, big guy. I also want to wish a fifth, fifth anniversary today. Happy anniversary to Kurt and Mary Benner. Oh, five years she's put up with that guy already. Mary operates the scoreboard up here for us. Good luck, kid. I understand he's giving you three of your best years. The other two are only Mitchy Mitchy, huh? <laughs> you gotta love it. <laughs> I gotta. <laughs> oh, good group we got up here. They told me you didn't have to be crazy to work here, but it helps. <laughs> 35 guys have to die right here in front of us. We may have to have a little funeral for this guy before this red uh, green flag is going to look at him. Hey, how about some steamed hot dogs, anybody? Yeah, I gotta love it, huh? Here we go! Oh, the old 35. Let's see how far he can run. Do you suppose he's going to have a good time or not? Probably not. I think he's not going to. That's a call. Beep, beep. Hey, we're going to be drawing out some lucky numbers pretty quick. Giving away some hats from these friendly folks that see you up. Hey, look at that! Huh? Are we good friends or what? The old canine is barking right up here behind that, ain't he? Oh, oh, he said, that's as far as I'm giving you a ride, boy. The big guy coming with that international right behind me. Exit stage right. Three of them going right in there. Around and around. This is 100 laps in this direction. Where are you going, boys? Hey, I wonder where that, that uh, 35 is pitting in the pits. Suppose we can figure that out. Look at the steam over there. Whoa, five abreast right down the front stretch. The 110 almost gets whirly whirly. That's gonna be the, oh, ha, ha. Look at that little guy. He gave the old push truck a little bump and run out there. 
Good job. 126. Oh, we got a jam in the back stretch. Let's see if that truck can clean them out and keep this going on the green. Whoa, we got a bumper dragging all sorts of trouble on that 76 car. Old Timmy White, that's his birthday and everything. I hate it when that happens. Look at that bumper truck over there. He pushes two of them out of the way. It ain't working good, though, is it? He's gonna back up and get a run. He'll hit him at about 50 miles an hour and send him on out of the way. Oh, He's gonna try and sneak around to the outside. Well, he fooled me. I thought he was gonna try and... Oh, he got two crosses right in front of him. Oh, things are not finding Mount Idy. They, they got a little lump that came unhooked there just a minute ago. He's trying to get the monkey off his back. 
Kevin Perkins with the monkey on his back. Hates him when that happens. Now we'll get some action. Here comes Jaws and the bucket motor one more time. Oh, the convergent. Look, no, no, that guy with the big bumpers on him, that's the push truck. Don't lift him, boys. No. no. Not again, the 13, 18, what a 118. He's really ready to go. Had to go sideways to get going, but he's got the hammer down. Away he goes. That's Brian Hennessy Jr. He knows what he's doing because he's a rugged wildcat driver also. Now we're going to be able to slot out a few more moves back here. Nine guys doing a fine job. Look at the 102 around the outside there. There's the 35 cars back again. No more steam heat for him. 161 seems to be moving around the fine. Turn, look at that mess. We're going to have the track block instantly. No, drive it away, boys. Keep it going. Yeah, love it. Got one guy, he's ready. His car's running. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, 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 oh. 134 comes around. The 54 taps in. They seem to be all running. That white car up there, I think, is engine is running, but he can't get out of there. This blue 84, 184, whatever, he sees. Dragging something to watch. Oh, red flag one more time. Oh, we got a little fire up there. Anybody get any marshmallows? Let's go roast some marshmallows. What do you say? I'll take a hot dog with mustard relish. Now we got to find out who left all that gas there because thank God the fire didn't follow it. Get a little push and shove here in a minute. Done, a good place to set. Where's the jam truck? Let's see if the jam truck. Ah, he's got it going. Now go change that tire, big guy. Hey, Tammy in the 15. But please, it says the 15. As we got a couple of guys doing the 360, three and four. Look at them, five and six abreast coming down through here. 53 cars, got a little fender rubbing on his wheel. 53 is James Sargent out of Saco. Uh-oh, here comes Smokey the Bear. That's a 63 car of Michael Johnson Jr., another Sky Row. He's only 18 years old. He ran out of smoke because he probably lost all his oil on the engine. Here comes that boy with going to have some tire trouble. Very soon. Told that guy leave his shotgun at home. Oh, that Danny Walker over there in the two-turn. Not a good place to be. You better get out of there, big guy, if you're going to host that talk show on Tuesday night. Come on, Danny. Fire it up, big guy. Danny, you, you, where's that push truck? Get over there and give this guy a push. Our friend Walker's done for the night. Ah, the 39 guy, he gets that fire back up. That's Joseph Todd. 53, he's still going. Yes, Billy, though. That guy's popping popcorn out there. Oh, mayhem over there in the turn. The 11 guy, he's dragging a bumper. I 
have no idea who's leading. Oh, the 13 guy got a right rear tire that's not too good a shape. He'll be trying to get back in the fence. You know, sometimes you can change your tire and get back out of it. If you're a real strong runner, make up a lap on these guys. Really get you. So, boy, there's that 129. I don't know how he's doing, but he's really hammered when he goes down the inside. Maybe it's because he's got good headers on that. Now he's got trouble in front of him, but look at the brakes he's got. He's on the brakes, now he's on the gas. Red flag is out. One more time as we got enough motorized mayhem that needs to be cleared away. We think that on lap 33, the 99 car was leading this little baby. That's 99. He's the guy with the monkey on his back. There's a kid in that 99, came all the way from the back of the pack, did a 316, and as we can tell, he's leading this, uh, I won't call it a horror show. That's Kevin Perkins out of Arundel in that little 84 Chevy Citation. Kevin Perkins with a monkey on his back doing a fine job for 99.
That's Chris Trout, another Wildcat driver. Look at him, thread the needle down through into turn one. Don't know where he is in the standings, but he's driving a good race. That's the back stretch is nearly blocked over there. That blue and uh, blue car with the orange top is running, but he can't get out of the way because there's so much traffic around him. He's rocking it back and forth. And just if someone give him a half a break, he can get out of the way. And when you keep thinking, ah, okay, he's got it going. All right, the other two boys drive off too. I love it when a plane comes together. Now somebody just T-boned the push truck there. He's going to get the 158. Going to give him a little push, get him out of the way. All right, good show, boys. Now the track getting narrowed down. Look at that 84. He's using his brakes a lot. Tap the brakes on, set the car, get the push on it. There goes that 103 again. That kid is moving on ground. Here comes your 84. She's dipping his shark's not too good on that right front. She's dipping pretty hot, smoking him. But look at him get, uh-oh. We spoke too quick, we jinxed him. He must have a flat tire in that right front. However, he can get that tire change if that's his problem, get back out here. You know, sometimes you can lose a couple laps, come out and run strong and do it again. On him going into two turns. High side, low side, in the lady chamber, does whatever has to be done. Watch this 103 coming around three and four. He's been doing a fine job. some of these guys, how many cars they pass on a single lap? See how good they are. Watch it. See that 103 come down to the inside. All the traffic to the outside. He spotted that ahead of time. But now he's jammed in. And let's see how good he is now. He's really in a mess right now. There's a few guys getting underneath him. They have the jam truck to contend with now. He only got four or five cars that lap. Where'd that little boy go with the cone on top? 161 and then go, uh, he's running real fine. Another guy, look at the one with the flag on the back. Whoop, oh, whoop, oh, I spoke too quick. He almost lost it in the wall down the back straight there, that guy with the orange flag. See that 133, now he's got running, he's going better also. Ah, that nah, jam truck will clear off things over here in one turn. Now that 86 is doing a pretty fine job. I don't know what car's gonna, what type of car's any better than any other car because it's a matter of all oh, the parts holding together as they get sideways backwards. There's the 103, we jinxed him too, the guy was running so fine. I don't know where he and the 161 stood, but the 161 just took off one. That's gone around him. Here comes that 129 back, evidently he's been the fence, now he's back. The 154 has gone dead down here in front of it, trying to coax it out of the way. That's James Keyes, he's a Wildcat driver also, the 154. We got one guy sitting, oh, we're gonna have red as we gotta clear this track. This guy's sitting up in the four turn, it's not a great place to be. So we are under red period right here. Some of the guys are stopping, some aren't. Number four, cheating a little bit hard here. He knows the red's up, but he also knows he can gain any 10 positions here if someone doesn't beat on his brain. Hey, boy, you stop that. I'm going down and get you. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven abreast right here in front of the starter stand. Hey, green flag is out. Here we go. Drag race time down the front stretch. Six, seven, eight abreast. All systems are go. As we get someone dead in the water right in the four turn, lost smoke. I hope they can see him in the rear. Park truck's gonna sneak over and get him and get him out of the way. Watch this little action. Oh, red flag. Check in, Eddie. You should have left it in. I want to see that park truck get out in the middle of all this mess. 
boys seem to have a hard time finding that brake pedal. Don't know what the problem is. It's the big pedal just between the clutch and the gas. Oh, now see that happen. They expected a long run. They didn't get it. Let's see who gets the advantage. Look at the mayhem in turn one. Look at the cars. Looks like the freeway, the toll booth. This guy shaking it. He needs a push. He's going to get a push. Yeah, I love it when the plan comes together. He says, get me out of here. Not having fun yet. I don't know if that's legal or not to have that lawnmower on top. He's probably got that lawnmower running. He probably hovers over some of these cars to get around them. Whoa, that three cars got the hammer down, too, ain't he? Look at him go. The 15. Some of these guys, you watch them, they're pretty sneaky. The 84 still going fine. Let's look for that 184 and the 85 and see how they're doing here. Oops. We're getting some speed out here right now, I want you to know. Some of these are going almost as fast as they do on a regular Saturday night during the Wildcat Division. The only thing holding... Ah! Ooh. Ah! Return. Ah! He made it. Ah! The pink guy's chasing him. Look at this guy coming through here, 129. He's the guy who went to pits, I believe, for a while. But he's got that 129 motivating. Whoop, 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 whoop. There's that pink car. He's got his really again with that other dude. You want to see somebody flying? Look at that 129. Get down the back stretch right now. Slide for life, down the front stretch. The 109 backs it into the infield, out of the way. Everybody is buying so fast. Hey, a couple cars we need to keep an eye on. The 21 and the 25. That's a couple of ladies out there. Kelly Sue Layton's in the 21. Debbie Cole's in the 25. Let's see how Kelly and Debbie do. That's 25 right there. Oh, there they both are. The pink one that I've been picking on. Son of a gun. She got her glasses on her trunk. Lid. No wonder she can't see where she's going. Buy a balloon. Tie a kid to it. Hey. Debbie just passed Kelly. Ha. Son of a gun. Now she can keep it going straight. She's going to have a heck of a good time. Nine cars doing the loop the loop again. He was running real fine earlier. All right, who's gonna get out of this mess right here and throw the hammer down? There's that little citation we was involved in the ribbon. Remember the nine guy had a flat day. He did his picture truck in back. A little more problems up there in the three turn. There's that 129. He was missing for a while, I believe, but that's not a big deal. That was only by my eyesight, but he is hammered down now in mood of 80. The paddles, there's a medal in Let her roar! I think he's turned coward now. He's set to the inside. He's playing dog and mouse with the 190 there right now. What 20? You don't think he's motoring? Look at him. <laughs> he's playing bumper tag with these cats. Debris on the track each and every lap. Look at them dogfight in and out, in and out. Some of these guys must have knit machines at home the way they're weaving through traffic here. Kelly's doing pretty good in that pink number 21 right now. Keep it straight in, that's pretty good. There's the number four car. He really keeps that car humming on the green too, not just on the red, so he's doing pretty good for himself.
that bow roll the loop balloon down the front stretch. Gun the black. She no run. He waves his hand. He's waving to his fans. He's waiting for the push truck to come around. Where's our jam car? We can't find the jam car. Bring the peanut butter jar. Hey, red flag. One, but he's got to get a push right now. Oh, oh, good job, Tonto. Hey, like it when the horse stop. Yeah, nice, Joe. And here comes the fox truck. Gonna get my. Right. Glenn Cusack said he has more fun doing this than driving his Coca-Cola special there on Saturday night at Late Mall Sports with all them big horses. Now this fella can cross the track. <laughs> Danny Walker. Hey, Danny, I thought you was driving tonight. What was you doing sitting over there in turn two? Was you having fun, boy? You got to tune into his radio show on Tuesday night now and listen to what kind of a lame excuse he's going to come up with for that sorry show. That was Danny Walker just ran across. He's the co-host with Dan Wolf of the Maine Motorsports Report on WWGTAM 1440 out of Portland every Tuesday night from 6 to 7 o'clock. If you can get that on your station, be sure and listen Tuesday night because I'm sure he's going to have some lame brain excuse. Oh! Green flag is out, seven abreast in the turn one, and away we go. Danny's still got two teammates he's gonna cheer on. 84 car coming down the front stretch. The 103 is going around him. That's the 184, and the 103 is, God, oh, they're running side by each. We're not sure what position that 103 is in. Trouble on the backstretch, all kinds of trouble. Couple cars running sideways and backwards. One of the boys backing into the pits, gets it out of the way. His 158, get a little hood up there. Can't see too well. Uh-oh, red light one more time. Uh-oh, break time, boys. Break, whoa, 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 whoa. Keep on side me, whoa. Not bad, not bad. These guys are getting better. The boys are sleeping. The hammers are down. 129, no run. The 99 is going to be a buddy. He's not going to be no buddy. I just want you to get the heck out of my way so I can get going, boy. You don't understand all we know about this. There's your unofficial leader, that blue number 84, which is unofficially number 184. Officially 184. Hey, I'll tell you what, the 103 and the 84 have been putting on a good dog fight there, the black and the blue machine. Try to keep beating on each other because they're black and blue already. Uh 
Oh, they picked up another rider in the push truck there. There's three of them in there now. They're having fun. Is doing a little loop to loop up in the fourth turn, gets the car going. Look at the teeth on the front of that. Oh, I hope he don't hit me in the bar. In the back. That's the 284s, only the two ones. 84 and the blue one, 184. Hey, the 103 is taking off and leaving the 84. So if he was the lap down, he's making up the ground. And if he was behind him, he's past him. Very well, I have a lead change by now. We don't do. That 86 car still running fine. There goes your 103. There's your 84. And your 84. Check out that car up there as he got T-boned in the driver's door, as you can see. Ah, he's all right. He's rolling back. These guys are tough. They're having a lot of fun, believe it or not. You don't have to be crazy to do this, but it helps. As the green flag is out one more time. Oh, the Stego auto parts. Oh, the number nine. He's not, of course, we're bad like he didn't have any at all. But two or three times, he's been stuck here in the front stretch tonight. Looped a couple times. He's trying to get the car going. Having no luck. There's your leader, the blue 84 right there. The 104 we had in third is coming on here. Bumper right now. There's the pink car right now. That lady is still out there. That's Debbie in the 25. That's the 104 and the 84 running. Yeah, the bump of the bump of back there. 104 is... Oh, he tried to put a move to the inside. It didn't work. Now we're going to find the three car and put him in the right perspective. The 104 wants to go around him awful bad. He's going to go to the inside. However, they, you know, we have to keep track of when They may not even be in the same lap. But still still be in seconds. Uh, still in a different lap, though, you understand. And the three car, wait. Well, Found. There he goes, right down the front stretch now, going into one turn. So he is about two thirds of a lot behind these guys. That 104 still has it. Now he gets around the 84. We're not sure his status. So keep an eye on that 104 now. He did go by our unofficial leader. Let's see if he holds on to that position. Oh, the 
25 is back out. Now she's cross running. Oh, she hates it when that happens. She's doing a good job of driving to the inside. Gets out of the way. All right. She loves it when the plan comes. She plays it. She does it. She's a figure eight run. No problem. Don't worry. Be happy. 84, that other 84. All kinds of troubles. So let's get back with the three in the 84 and the 104 and see how they're all doing. There goes the three right down the front stretch. Here comes the 104, it's gaining on him every lap. The 104 seems to have the hot setup right now. Here's your 84, he's got a couple extra dents since the last time we see him. So the 104 is gaining on the three car. If, in fact, they were in the same lap, he is probably, if he is the leader, will be taking over that spot at the rate he's going. Three guys not handling quite as well, but the 104 is into a lot of traffic. Three and four abreast in the turn. You gotta love it. You know, some of these guys, you think they're playing cat and mouse or whatever, they're, they're kind of dogging it out here, not making very good time, but you know what? They're probably going to be here at the end. As I said earlier, it's nice to finish first, but first you must finish. Unofficially, we have new leaders, 73 and 77. Three and 77. Three, 104 and 77 is our unofficial first three cars. Three, 104 and 77. I said corrected. I don't like to stand up. There goes your three. And the 104 right there. Now we'll find the third car, which is 77, we believe, unofficially. Three and 104. Three and 104 going down the back stretch. There goes 77 right into the one turn right now. Drive a cool, smooth race. There's your leader, the three car. Three car, wasn't that Ray Lee's Jr.? It sure was. Let's check out who's driving the 77 car at this time. Probably the same guy that started it, that's Alan Hall. Out of Sanford. A lot of horsepower there, some of them, some of them horses come alive when they put the hammer down. We show 88 down, 12 to go, and we'll be turning them around. There goes your leader. He must have just gone for number 89. So about 11 more laps. We're going to be stopping this race and turning these boys around. Put them in half a race and we'll go 100 laps in the other direction. Unofficially, 3, 104, and 77. Still your leader. Three guy doing a fine job. That should have been 10 to go that time around. All goes well. Ooh, the 110 gets a little left after the 59. Let's you know there is more cars out here. Than three abreast through three and four turn. Nice group of cars coming right down the front stretch right now. 27 and 186 playing a little bumper tag. Touching my door, I bring you your face. He says. Look at him, three abreast down the back stretch. 33 and 27, I forget the other guy's number. The 103 breaks on the back, and the 25 car, Kelly. Debbie, rather, still a hanging, hammering around. Where's Debbie in the pink number? Red flag, one more time.
one more time. There's your three and four, your first and second place cars. Coming into turn four. Let's see who's gonna hang on for these last eight or nine laps for this first segment. The 104 has got a head of steam going into the three to one turn. He's about ready to pull up from the door. Now the three's got the hammer down. Not gonna let him do the job. There isn't some heavy traffic. Let's see who pulls the old sneak attack and comes on out of this. Aha! A little weave and bob in action. The three gets the door opened up in front of him. Bump for the bumper through one and two. Down in the back stretch, the three got a little more horsepower. Opens up a cow lane. Let's see the wild four. He's gonna try and dive in hard right behind him. Yeah, he closes up ever so slightly. Two cars running about the same type of horsepower. 104 trying to box him to the inside, trying to make it out there in the Angels Expressway. Now nah, he had to get off the gas momentarily. advantage though. Chevy Chevelle, second place right now unofficially is Ray Lee's Jr. John Harmon and Ray Lee's Jr., first and second. Guess what? I want to watch him turn them around. Let's see how much of a job this is going to be. Not bad. Not bad, boy. Here we go, loop the loop. Here we go, loop the lie. They can really get out this action, pack, shot, tracking for this motorized mechanical mayhem. One more time, drivers. I'm going to remind you, it's important to finish first. But first, you must finish. You got 200 laps left to go. Your fans right here in the grandstand want to see you finish. Take it easy, boys. Don't do too much bumping and running. Don't worry, be happy. Hey, who wants to win a hat? How about one of you kids? How about 037 002? 037 002. Okay, we gotta get this under green pretty quick. My ice cream's melting. He's got in. Green flag is out. 104 is off and running. 161 right there with it. Trying to get underneath that three. Now we're gonna have some fun going the road. Oh, look at Come out of the pits. Woohoo! They got them all repaired. 
coming out like a herd of turtles. Yoo-hoo! I love it when a plane comes together. Officially 161, should be a leader. He's gone around the 104. Down the back stretch. Now 77 is right there with him. Remember the 77? We had him with us a little earlier. He looked like he may have been sandbagging, but boy, he's ready now. He loves this opposite direction. He's trying to get around the 161. Look at him, he's rim riding on the Angels Expressway up there. He is side by, ah, he's got the advantage over the leader. I'm hoping he's in the same lap. Because if he is, he's now ahead of that guy. He's keeping it right out there on the white line, the Angel Expressway, doing a fine job in the 77. 161, dogging it. He's trying to get up to the outside and keep up with him. The 104, not letting him get out of his sight. Down the back stretch, he's putting the move down the inside. Aha, uh -huh, caught up in traffic. Able, oh, he, he tried to get high, didn't work. Seventy-seven, Kanan, more and more he's left, pulling up in front. Kinda has things together. That's Alan Hall out of uh, Hall on a set. 28 year old young fella. Doing a fine job that 77. Right there he goes over the 510. 161 right there with him. 104. Another one of your top front runners. Here comes the three car out of the one turn. He's back in that. Oh, what? Oh, I thought he was hooked up again with a 19. He got hooked up early and gets set off to the side row over there. 77 car, he's got a clear track now. He's touching him. He sets it out high and wide. Oh, is he going to be in traffic by the time he gets to turn two? Let's see what kind of maneuverability he's got. Got to be kind of weird going the other direction. You know what I mean, John? Now, see, he's getting out a little wider, a little wider. 
Because everybody tries to keep it down low, but he gets it out wide and goes on round. As one of our ladies is still out there, the 21 shot that's Kelly. See that little gold number 25 is still out there. Yeah. Oh, Kelly just went around Debbie over there. Oh, 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 oh. oh gosh. I shouldn't be talking about it. She just put it up on the sandbank. 93 over here, just come a little close to the wall. Closer than he'd like to be, I guarantee you that. That's Robert Bordwell Jr. Hey, look at this 81 coming out of turn one. Set up a smoke screen, but he's got the hammer down. The BT Auto Special. Woohoo! He's on the move again. Trouble over the back stretch. Let's see if the bush truck can tap this guy's front bumper, spin him sideways, get on behind him. Let's see what kind of maneuverability he's going to pull on this guy. Got some good engines in these babies. 84 cars got more troubles than he knows what to do with. The 81 car really moving out fine here. We gotta keep an eye on him. Oh, 84 cars dragging his bumper under his wheel. I suspect that's what's happening. You don't really understand all I know about it. That 81's easy. Back up because he's uh, setting up a smoke. He can go pretty good. He's been around the 84 car. He's got all kinds of trouble in that baby. He's got an exit. He's left. Well, let's see if we can find the 161 and the 104 again. It's a black flag. All right, red flag is displayed at this time. Red flag. As the boys try to bring it to a screeching halt. As the boys and girls are able to bring it pretty much to a stop. There's the three car that was one of our front runners been to go. There's the 77 and 161 right over there in the back stretch, right side by each. Both fine running pieces of the machinery. I can't believe Dan Wolf is sponsoring this guy. He's bad. Yeah, he, look at him. He just he loves to be talked about. I'll tell you who talks about you a lot, your girlfriends. <laughs> Danny Walker, he's usually walking when he should be running. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to take a trip down to Portland, too, to listen to his uh, radio show. He's going to have more excuses than Ronnie Reagan and Ollie Knopf. <laughs> I don't know if that's possible, but he'll try. Hey, that's Green Daddy. Put the hammer down, buddy. Now let's see if the 77 is going to be able to put a move on this guy to get that lap back. He got a good jump, but he's into traffic. He better get out back there out of the Angels Expressway and get going. Because here comes the leader. Oh, 161 and 104, they're bunched right into that traffic. Through four and three. <laughs> this is crazy calling this race backwards into four turn, into three turn, into two. Pass backwards. Got to get around the bush truck. 
Where'd that cone head go that was running second? Here he comes out of turn one. On a fixer. He was second. We don't know where he is now. Odds are he's been passed. The 104 is the only guy we have to talk about this time. This time. Guys have got the cells pretty well sorted out now. Running fine. Hey, that 77, he's gaining every lap around. Here he comes out of turn one as the 104 going into turn two, so he's making some big ground. He could very well get this lap back. Maybe he didn't wait too long. Maybe he knew what he was up to. A little sandbagging don't hurt at all when you've got the strategy. strategy. Strategy plan like this one. Oh, oh, easy over there. And the 77 got right through that melee. 179, 129 gets back on the track, keeps it running. Most of these guys got a pretty good head of steam going right now. Looking fine. There's old Danny Walker going through again. He's only 180 laps down. Danny, Danny's so far back, he thinks he's leading. <laughs> Number five doing an extra lap over there. He did a complete 360. Into the wall, that is. You see the 77 sneak through that mess over in three turns. And the red flag is, oh, easy, boys. Pushed, oh, they're really doing a lot of bumping and shoving over there now. Look, look who stops out front so he can talk to us again. <laughs> you do anything for publicity, Walker. Now we're drinking cores. Uh oh, uh, loop the loop, the 103 almost backed into another guy. Keeps the hammer down. All right. There goes your 104. Unofficial race leader. Let's see if this bucket load is going to sneak over here and pick this guy up and move it. Don't know if he's crazy enough to do that. Who knows? He's he got thought to doing this. This is going to be fun. I dare you. I dare you. 104 is your race leader going into turn four. Here comes the 77 right now down the press break. He's almost the lap line, only about a third, I guess. There's that push truck pushing the uh, 40, 141 down the back stretch. He'll get him going this moment, give the 109 a boost. Everybody knows he's there, so he's way in the inside of the track. They don't like, uh oh, oh, so. 40. Hey, is this the buddy game? Oh, my boy. I love it. Hard to believe that a guy will stop his race and action to give his buddy a push. Especially when the push truck is coming right along with it. Got him out of the way. Into the pits with him. All right. Number 48. Hey, a gentleman, gentleman. Mark 
Hamlet that did that gentleman's just in the 48 car. Good 32. Oh, what goes in the 32 is doing real fine in it as I speak. He gets a little bump and jump and takes the high road out over four and three in the dirt. He brought his sand bale and shovel. No fun. Well, let's pick up our race leader again if we can find him. There's the 104 right there. Just went by us. Where's that 77? How much land does he gain? Oh, he's gaining a little bit each time around. He goes into four turners. The 104 comes out of three. Still gonna get the hammer over. He needs four laps on the green, though. He's not gonna make his lap back. One oh four and one oh three are you unofficial leaders. One oh four and one oh three. Now the one oh three car, that happens to be none other than Craig Strout out of Portland. A 32 year old. And John Harmon out of Barn Hill, 33 years old. Oh hey, these two middle-aged boys, they ain't middle-aged. Young fellas. There's your leader right there, 104, 103, right on his bumper, dogging him. All right, fine. Remember a few laps ago, he took the high road out over there. They're running the Angels Expressway out there, right up next to the wall. Hey, let the slow car stay on the inside. Look at him, put the moves around the outside. Oh, doing a fine job. The 77 ain't gaining much ground on him now. Yeah, these guys are <laughs> I thought he was going to bite the truck right there. <laughs> this is more fun. The only thing more fun than watching this would be driving in it. Whoa, wouldn't that be fun? Three, four abreast. Danny Walker, you're getting past in unison there. I bet somebody put a block of wood under his gas pedal so he couldn't show off too much. I wonder how many laps he's been to that push truck. He's got your leader on a one turn. Seventy-seven guys losing a little ground on these boys now. They got the hammer down. The road is clear and they're high flying. Danny walked with his hand out the window. He knows better than that. He's supposed to do that. Here. That's the 
77 that's run the lap down, but running strong. Boy, these guys doing a fine job. Took a big hit over there. The 16 got hammered by the 85 right on the old snow. Hate it when that happens. That's Jeff Greenley from Scarborough in that fireman's car right here coming out of turn one. Every time around, they're doing this like a marathon. People have sponsored them for the number of laps they run. They're also, they're raising, while they're running the Enduro, trying to earn some money on, to pay for the car, et cetera, et cetera. They're probably donating whatever they went to the Scarborough Fire Department, Black Point Station. Uh, they're also, people sponsoring him so much a lap, so the more he keeps this baby out of trouble, the better he is. And look at that car. He's got to be, he doesn't even get any dents, no tire marks on that or nothing. Aha! That's why he's staying so so clean. He's got a big sign on the back of that that says stay back 500 feet. That's probably a hook and ladder special. What's these guys doing going through the infield? Especially at that speed. I, oh, that's a girl. Uh, no discrimination here, folks. But she just took a half a left shot cut. She probably had to pull a pantyhose up or something. I don't know what's going on. Sheesh. But them Kelly girls, I hate it when that happens. 
103, 104, and 11. Let's see how we're all doing in conjunction with each other. Hey, she came all the way around this time. There goes the 104. There's your 103 right there. Oh, he's got a half a lap lead on second place. in reverse, folks, in case you didn't understand that. And the fire truck goes around the push truck. Uh-oh. A lot of troubles on that 186. Keeps doing that, he'll be losing the wheelbarrow or something. That's Michael Weskin. Is that any relation to you, Cliff, Michael Weskin? No relation? You mean you won't admit it? 186. If he wins, <laughs> if he wins in the run, if he don't win, I don't know him. <laughs> uh, he's got that black flag up. Uh oh, somebody he's got the black flag. Wow, black tire on the 186. Cliffy's not gonna win, so he ain't gonna be a relative. I can see that. Another sun disowned. Hey, you know what? Since Penelope Pitstop went through the infield, she running a lot stronger. I don't know what went on when she went through there. Maybe somebody threw in a jug of hot set or something. She got the hammer down now. Look at her go. Woo! And that 427 car. If it wasn't for bad luck, he wouldn't be having any at all. Okay, the cone head passes the sign truck. He thought it was an ice cream truck. He tried to get in the pole over. He was hungry. Oh, Penelope spun out over in turn two. She missed pit road. Run, Penelope. Penelope's ticked off. I was going to say that on the P word, but it wouldn't sound good, would it? <laughs> Ah, oh, look at the push her run around, huh? Hey, Penelope, we get you going again, kid. Right, whoop, 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 whoop. Easy, don't run over each other. Hey! Ah, oh, the fire truck came in. He thought she was on fire. Da, 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 da. Use your siren, boy. Keep back 9,000 feet. Hey, Penelope, she's doing it again. Woo-hoo! Forward. I don't understand what's going on here. We gotta do something about that. That's Richard Chalain. That's probably Rainy Chalain. Remember Rainy Chalain used to drive the modified? He was just as crazy as this too. You think this is fun? You wanna watch it again? Hey, Channel One video is taping all the action right here. Next week, you can come down here and buy this. 25 bucks, you can see all this wild and woolly action. Start stomping as you want. Are you gonna have fun? You better believe it. 
We'll put a little plug in here for Channel One right now because they're down there in Turn One. They got videos of all the races wanting to run so far here this year. And believe me, they're quite interesting. I pick up most of them and view them during the week. They also have them for Lee, the Act Tour, or whatever, and a few things. They sponsor a race every Sunday morning at 6.30 over a channel, I think it's WMUR or something like that out of Manchester. He's nodding his head, I remembered it right, I gotta love it. 6.30 in the morning, so when you go to bed at night, after you've left Beatridge, you go home, set your VCI because the next month at 6.30, you're gonna get a chance to watch great race in action. Channel One video, right here in front of me, doing a fine job. He's got the camera right on the 104 now, the leader. As the leader, I'm gonna watch this on TV, folks. I can see it right now as the leader comes out of three turn down the back stretch. Trying to go underneath the motorized billboard. Look, he gets behind the little girl in the car. Debbie, he got lost it for a minute. He still got trouble getting around the billboard. Here he comes down the front shoe, across the start finish. Now that billboard is going pretty good right now. The 104 is gonna have him before they get into two turn. How's that for a guesstimate? No way. Right on his back door. That black flag coming out of Las Lady. Ah, he puts a shot to the underneath. Goes underneath him. Now he's got a fine tune run down the front stretch of the billboard. Done by a whole lot of guys. What's going on? Why all this noise? Three and four rest. We haven't fun yet, folks. Oh, there's somebody going the wrong way over there. Don't do that. All right, he says, I'll turn around on the other way. That's it, 32 ways. He's done that a couple of times. Look at this action down the front stretch. The 15 and the 9 going side by side, door handle to door handle. In the turn three. Boys, when you're watching this tape and you realize we're talking from turn three to turn two to turn one. Folks, I'm not really crazy. This is the way we're running this race. Backwards is the number nine. He does the loop the loop right here on my screen. And he backs it into the infield. Is he going to get it going? Get a lot of steam coming out of that engine over there. Probably the bucket will have to get going. Oh, God. He's not had a good night, has he? Could be worse. Could be happening to me, you know. There's 104, your leader. Down, miss you. In the four turn. Hey, when you're watching this videotape, take notice of all those names on that backboard down through there. He plays with the friend he hard with, man. Look at the steam heat coming out of that number nine sitting over there. Penelope pit stop is gone. Hey, here comes our fire truck. Oh, Red is out. Red is out. The 77 was stopped up in the back stretch. Why is the red out? Then your green flag. Yeah, love it. Yeah, love it. There's a 32 car right there. He just went by. He's in fourth place. There's 161. The leader is very close to 32. I mean, the second place car. Looks to me like the 161's about ready. He may have just put the 32 down a lap. 161, we... Oh, 144 thinks a ride in the entry. Uh-oh, he just made a mistake. He but he gets himself hung up on the sand pile now. 32 back in front of the 161 again. Well, there's your 33 right there, the green machine. Uh -huh. I had noticed him running awful good there earlier. 77 car, that's that little maroon Camaro or whatever it is, in first. Now, who's that on the sand bank? 144? Let's see who that little devil is here. Yeah, let me check the old thing. Bob Gillette on a benefit. Whoa, Bobby. Hope you brought your sand bucket with you if you're going to play in the sand pile, buddy. There's the 104 car. He is on a 50 instead of was. Who knows? We're on, we're on lap 181 right now. Lap 
181 out of this second 100 lap segment. Hey, this is going a lot better, ain't it? I love it when the plan comes together. Here comes your leader down the front stretch, trying to put a few more boys down the lap. As he tries to sneak up the inside rail into three turns. He, he's going around the motorized billboard and the truck a truck right now. Hey, the billboard trying to hang right with it. Let's see who can hang it down going into two turns. As they go underneath the 40 car right now. I think that's the 55 he's trying to sneak around next. Oh, the 12 guy, he got the 55 like nothing. Tries to pick off the 12. Sets it out in the second groove. Out of three turn, out of the 12, we got a little bit of hook up there. Let's see who's gonna get it. Oh, look at the horsepower he finds down the back chute. Picking up one, two, three, four cars each in every lap. And now he goes around the 147. Doing a fine job. Nice steady race. And there's another car without too many dead sons. As he has the 147 in the rear view mirror now. Goes after the 15 car next, running that great race. Some of these sleepers, they can sneak it up on it. Doing a fine job. That's 33 car, that's Steve Linsky. He's the old fox. 43, he's got the talent, he's got the patience to hang with it. That's what takes in one of these races. As I've said two or three times, Nice to finish first, but first you must finish. And that's what he's doing in that 33. That guy's in pretty good shape. You haven't seen him beating on it too much tonight. See him bring it underneath the 15 guy. Now he'll try to make a move on the illustrious Danny Walker. Let's see if all the 154 is going around him. We got a couple cars humming on the outside. The 154 and the three car coming around our leader. Trying to get a lap back. Ah, 33 and 3, side by each, door handle, door handle, a little bump and shove into the two turn, our four turn. Got me going backwards here, folks, I can't understand all of this. Danny Walker almost loses it. Yeah, he's got the hammer down now, but the three car still got around him. He's trying to get back up, get that position back again, heads to 161. Unofficially second place is right on his back door, maybe going around him this time. Aha! Now we got an unofficial race for the lead. 161 out on the Angels Expressway, down the back stretch. Here they go, door handle, door handle in the turn two. The 154 and the three are still pulling a little advantage, getting away from them. 161 gets a little loose, however, he's just tracking it. Oh, he's gonna box him in behind the little lady. I would have to guess the 161 just to go with that lead. But what do I know? 161, that number three and 154 though have got around those guys. But the 161 is gonna get back around them the few laps, you watch. He's got that 161 really handling fine. He's got it tuned right in. Oh, did he make a pit stop earlier, folks? the pits with a flat tire. Although he went in and made a pit stop, we still have him unofficially as your leader. It may take 14 to 15 days to straighten out the scoring on this, but by Gary, we'll get it. And we're gonna award $1,500 to somebody. We'll go down and interview the winner here tonight, too. Oh, the unofficial winner, I should say. Stiegel Autobots. Yeah, fine, folks. Stores all over the state. Bill Ross, regional sales manager for Maine. Bob Cameron, district manager for Southern Maine stores. Pat Poulin, divisional manager for all oh, the New England area, and Ray, du Ray Downs, he's the warehouse manager out of Portland. Great bunch of folks for all your automotive needs. Saturday, Buffalo, Billfight, Golden, Rich Builders, as a matter of fact, waiting to break fire. Oh, what do we got, a little 4th of July celebration here? What's all the sparks all about? 
That old number 38 right there. We know who he is. And he goes down the back shoot the 38 car. Larry Ramsey, he's one of the Wildcat boys. As long as he has the leading gas, he gets back. He gets the leading gas. Oh, oh there we go. Oh. Danny Pine Walker's out there. He's having a great time, but he looks like he's out for a Sunday ride. The only thing that scares me, I'm afraid he's going to get out of the car and see what's going on. They're going by him so fast, he may think he stopped. It looks like that horse truck's going to hit a couple of 88 down the back right now. Ah, he's got him out of the way. And that old international beach bridge. Boy, my truck. They're doing a fine job out there, having a great time with it, too, believe me. Only four laps to go in this segment, then we'll have 200 down and turn them around, boys, and crank them suspensions back the other way. Oh. Fight up there for the front. The 32 went around the 161, but we're not sure who's leading. We'll be checking scoring in about three more laps because we'll be throwing the red out, stopping this, and turning them on around. Look out, Danny. They're going to go on by you, boy. There goes our fire truck. He's still running fine. And the 32 car, unofficial leader, goes on around him. To turn two. Just one or two laps left to go here. In the second segment of the Stiegel Water Pots Wagner Ride Race Enduro 300. I think we ought to make them run 100 laps now in reverse here. That would be interesting. <laughs> Must be about ready to start. Ah, we got 200 down. As we have a little bump and dag over in the four turn. As they said, 32 trying to get around that 161. There's your three leaders, 161, three, and 32. Probably the 32 is actually second right now, but who knows? As they come out of the four turn, the one ten thinks he has something to say about this whole melee. Boys, don't count me out. I'm running a good two. That's all the reserve. Ah, another over, gentlemen. 45 years old, a thinker. Got his act together in that one ten. We're not sure what lap he's in, but he's running a fine race. Look at him hanging right with the leaders. Now he's taking it way out wide. I'll bet you that guy's running two or three Enduros already. Looks good. All the reserve also drives the Wildcat division. Penelope Pitstop didn't make it back out, did she? How about 25 guys? Retired, I guess so, huh? Where's the three car? What happened to the three car? He ran with the boys. I missed him. He must have got a flat tire. Must have did exit stage right. And there's your 161 and your 32. 110 if he's down a lap and trying feverishly to get it back. Unable to pull it off at this point. Three car is in the pit. You can bet they're changing tires in a hurry. Probably down a couple by now. Let's see how quick he gets back out. If he gets back out with good rubber, you know, he's, he could be three or four laps behind and still win this. A lot of these cars, he's already passed two or three times to begin with. Some of the ones that are in front of him are going to get more flat tires. There goes our walk. Somebody just lost a tire. <laughs> easy. Oh, easy. Oh, is that the 86 car? The 86 car just blew a right front tire. He's not uh, that's James Dearborn. All kinds of action all over the track. 
Now the 161 putting a lap on that 177 that we saw. Now you have billboards getting all kinds of advertising. Now he's going the wrong way as he and the 52 come in. The 52 don't look so good right now. That's Wesley Lane. He's also a wildcat driver. He's a wildcat, all right. Ain't no doubt about that. Coming around the fire 
truck in three and four turns. Down the back stretch, that 124 is putting the move on some of these guys. Appears to be running fairly strong right now. Not sure any idea where he is in position. Let's see how many people he can gain on going around through this time. Get a lot of portion until he gets real high in the turn. See how much power he can find down the back shoot. As he picks off one. Could have at least that 147 car before he gets around here. Find it. He's been running. He's getting up on the motorized billboard one more time. Oh, gosh, he's not having that good luck getting around these boys. He gets himself boxed right in. Hammer down time, buddy. 144 is Bob Collette. Who's that, the 15 lost his tire? He hates it when that happens. 144 guy is getting a little slack right now, but let's see, is that 32 game on or did he go by the... Track the both of them. Oh, 144 is pulling away from him. He's got to be coming a factor in this if he's not, he hasn't been in the pit too much. Hey, I'll tell you, there's someone else that should be getting to be a factor. That 84 car, 48 car, 148, whatever he is. He's been running quite strong. You know, some of these guys that just go around, kind of coast around, coast around, coast around. They may be getting a few laps down, but they're not having to pick the time. Odds are they may be quite a few laps, like the number 10. He's running pretty slow and smooth. Not putting a lot of laps on anybody. But you know, I don't think he's had to make a pit stop yet, but I don't know that for a fact. Guys like that could be a, a sandbagging, could be a factor in this whole operation. The 32 car loses it. Back on the green he goes one more time, has it going. 32 guys got the hammer out, going into three turn. Picks off a couple guys, trying to get that number 23 guy to come out of four turn now. Down the front scoop. Trying to keep it straight. He's done a couple loop the loops earlier. Hasn't lost too much time doing them though. Loses a lot more than he likes, I'll guarantee you. That's the 104 now going into one turn. He's running strong. He got a little blockade in front of him. It's called a truck. Have you picked the winner yet, Bob? Huh? You got this sorted out? Thought you have. Where's Conan? Still fighting with a fire truck over there in three turns. The boys from the Scarborough Fire Department. Ah, uh, did you see him hammer that down? The smoke pumped out of the exhaust. The 161 takes off away from him, though. He just put him down another lap, obviously. And the 161 is hooked up. Bend to the fence, changed some tires earlier. Praying that it all hangs together now. Not only is it important to start with good tires, but believe you me, you'd better have some good spares in that pit. Because when them babies go down, if you go in and just put on a chunk tire, you're not going to last very long. I learned the hard way. I tried that one. Chunk tires don't make it happen. He's got some heavy traffic now going into one turn. But so far, he's been able to handle everything they've thrown at him. Unofficially, 161, 77, and the green machine is back in the top group, 33. 161, 77, and 33. These guys have diced back and forth in and out of the pits. Do rubber, do this, do that. Come back out and run strong when they're hammering. As the 161, the Conehead Special goes in turn two. 
Dick Dibbon on a Hollis Center. The 76 Chevy Nova doing a fine job tonight. He's got to be thinking about counting his money pretty soon. Dick Dibbon doing a great job. Seven car seems to be slowing over there. I see two or three, four going right around him. 77 is losing steam. Let's check him out and see what he... Oh, he's losing more than steam. Everything has come undone. He's dropped the rear of the hose for an engine or something. The 77 is choked. Exit stage right, young fella. Don't mess up my track. Oh, please. Maybe he's just teaming some hot dogs for after the races. But too bad the 77 will run a very conservative, fine race here tonight. Goes out of the ball of the lap 235. Lot Mac was running third unofficially when trouble detonated an engine or something in that 77 car. What a change. We got a couple guys out here that walk and go for it. Going back up, make a U-turn. Here's the billboard. Go. 
So, as we pick up the 161 out of the four turns, all by himself with a clear field ahead, the 33, doing everything he can to shut the door down, but not able to pull off as much as he'd like to. The 154, not running good. The 33 will go to the inside. No, he can't even get around the 154, and he's had all kinds of trouble. As the 161 opens up more and more lead. 33 is trying to get to the inside. They're going to have some trouble to that 54. Shut the door down. 33 doesn't have enough power to pull off the pass that he needs as the 161 is starting to run away in high. Look at this. We're near the whole backstretch for lead right now. 33's got all he wants to handle with that 54. 150. Ah, he gets underneath him now. Now he's got the track ahead. Let's see if he can close the door down on the 161 again. However, the 161 has a fine shot all the way around. Not too much traffic setting up in front of him. Hey, is that boys in the fire truck special, the 121? That's Jeff Greenley. He's still running strong. Pick up lap sponsor money for, uh, for his boys down at the fire department at Black Point. He'd love to pick up the $1,500 first price. The 32A is back out here again. But whatever he did on his tires didn't help him too much. He's still dirt tracking. The 161, still your race leader. Trying to put the 91 car down another lap. Yeah, he's gonna do it. Hey, guess what? We're halfway of the third segment. Go! It. Don't ruin the gra- Uh-oh, he's right on top of the tire. He's not gonna drive off in that one, I bet. Hung up like an angel on a Christmas tree. 250 laps down, 50 to go. That's all there is, folks. The 184 running strong earlier. We have a lot of debris in the four turn. They may decide to stop this to get that out of there. Who knows? We'll see where, where it goes. We definitely don't want that flying up at our flag, man, one thing or another. Eddie's taking a close look at it, deciding whether or not he likes to look at it sitting there or not. No, oh, somebody got a hold of it. Let it tie up. The 12 car must have got onto that debris or something. Yeah, right rear tire's gone. Got fluey on it, baby. That's just fella. Oh, oh, hey, that fire truck, he's going to put out a fire somewhere, but he's going the wrong way. That with 154, oh, going a lot of lead and push out of that tire on the right front when it comes around. Now all the boys know that debris is there, and they're doing a fine job of staying away from it. And the 154 and the 76 put on a little battle coming through three and four. See that smoke from off that right front tire? Got the fender pushed into it. Tried to get in a couple places he didn't blow. Get his nose out of joint, must be, huh? Oh, he just threaded the needle down the back stretch, though. He's having fun. That's the 154, uh, Jim Kai. He's also a uh, wildcat driver. He's doing a fine job out here. Down the back stretch, he gains a couple more positions on a couple other guys. There goes your leader, down the shoot. 33 has closed that gap on him a little. Hey, there's that 104. I'm not sure what his status is, but it looks like he might have gone in and got some new rubber somewhere along the way. But he's gonna go around the 133 uh, down that three turn. Oh, they're gaining on the leader, too. Right down the front stretch, there we go. 33 and 104, picking up ground on the leader each and every lap as they run door handle to door handle down the back stretch inside of the 39 car. Oh, they're closing ground on the leader. When the going gets tough, the top get going. Look at them, dude, tracking. Now we have a race for that front spot. We're not sure where the 104 fits in uh, lap-wise. Not sure any of them are as fast as that goes, but we got three guys putting on a fine show. Look at the 104. He's going to go up there. 
Try to box that 33 in. Three wide, down the front stretch. 161, still on the points at the pace. However, that slow car may get a bumper into him. No, 104, he, 104, that's easy for you to say. He's, oh, he gets a bumper to the leader. Spins him out, he does a 360 into the sand pile. Disastrous. Keeps it going, he's still fired up. Come on, off the track, buddy. Don't get a lock down, you're running too good. The red flag will get you right back in the hunt. All right, he's going again. We're not sure whether the 104 is down laps or not. Yes, he is, I'm told. So the 33 probably is your leader, unofficially. No, they tell me. 161 has three or four laps on the field, I'm told. He's blown the doors off, smoked them. All he's got to do is be conservative. 33 and 104 still dogging each other. Out of the fourth turn, Tom Gilida. Car looks to be hung up awful fine. This new one.
Nissan 32 car who'd been running so fine early in the race. Lost a few positions. I think he just got thrown down another lap by that 161. You talk about smooth. Here comes the 104. Trying to gain back another lap. He's gonna do it. The 161 is probably smart enough to realize that he's ahead of him. Let him go. That's the name of the game. Let him go. Now look at that. That's the way to get to the fence backwards. He's gonna have trouble threading the needle. The traffic's pretty heavy over there. Oh, the 161 goes around again. Keeps it going. Does a 360 pirouette. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Is our leader in trouble? He gets, ah, he fires it back up. You talk about breathing a sour relief. All his fans and his friends and his score. Whoa. Oh, he's got a right front and a right rear tire is flat, though. But you know what? He may have lead enough to get in there, James. Easy, easy. Oh, no! Take it easy, boy. We've got plenty of time to change that tire and still win this race, you know. Not plenty of time. That could be a disaster. It's going to be interesting. Tell me, keep track of how many laps he's in there. Keep track of the 104 now. We'll just go by him because he seems to be the fastest car all the way down the field. Officially, the 33 car is your leader at this time. We feel the 104 just gained back at least one lap on that 161. We'll see how it is. I'm going to judge him based on him because he's the one I've been watching here. We lost one lap. Steve Lindsley, the 33, is your leader. And he's hoping they're having trouble getting the lug nuts off in that car in the pit. That's two laps. Three laps in the pit. Comes the fire truck back out. I'm going to be very surprised if that conehead doesn't come back out through there momentarily. He's going to be coming pretty quick. Or he is definitely in danger of losing this. As we have trouble over turn two. Hey, there's your conehead. He very well could be still in the lead. The score for number 86, we must see you after this race is over. The score for number 86. Unofficially, that 161 is still your leader. Unofficially, he's still your leader. Boy, that's what you call having a good lead.
That, that tire on the right front is so soft that the rim is touching the ground. Not much air there, so that, that sidewall is breaking down on that right front tire, and that tire is going right down to the rim as he comes down through. He'll be lucky to get 20 more laps out of that baby.
Five to go for Dick Dearborn. People join us here in Victory Lane. One more time, how about a big round of applause for the ones who want to put Dearborn on a hat? Did a fine job, get many laps on the field, change your path and coming back. Come on out here, gentlemen. Move over Thursday Night Thunder. Here comes Sunday Morning Lightning. It's Channel One Video Speedway. From Green Flag to Victory Lane to the Unexpected, Channel One Video brings all the action to WMUR-TV Channel Nine every Sunday morning at 